China is becoming the main country that arms Russia. China is helping to arm Russia with helicopters, drones, optical sites and crucial metals used by the defense industry, a Telegraph investigation has found. It is noted that Russian firms, including sanctioned companies involved in the production of missile launchers, armored vehicles and strategic bombers, have received tens of thousands of shipments from China since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine began through the first quarter of this year. It comes as China, which insists it remains neutral, is attempting to position itself as a key peace broker in talks aimed at ending the conflict. Telegraph Media Outlet writes that such goods are classified as dual use, meaning they also have civilian purposes, allowing China to skirt international sanctions and claim that it conducts only legal trade with Russia. China's support appears to be helping Russia weather sanctions, calling into question the effectiveness of a crucial part of the West's campaign against Moscow aimed at crippling Russia's economy. It is noted that one Chinese company sent 1,000 drones to Russia in the two months before the war. The drones were sent to a Russian firm called Samson, which similarly describes itself as a wholesaler of games and toys. Then, four days after the war broke out in Ukraine, Chinese company HEMS 999 supplied two helicopters. Another Chinese firm, Tianjin Huarong Aviation, has transferred four Airbus helicopters to Russia since the war began. All were received by Russian firm Ural Helicopter, whose primary customer is the Russian National Guard. Chinese firms have also sent optical sites to more than 50 Russian companies from the start of 2022 through the first quarter of this year. Invoices state such equipment is for hunting, though the devices could be fitted to military weapons and offer enhanced vision for military operations. Chinese exports of turbojets and radar missile navigation systems have also been sent via India and Costa Rica before being re-exported to Russia in an apparent effort to evade sanctions.